today I'm going to talk about something that I wish I knew sooner that I really didn't think I was doing, but like looking back now, guilty as charged. And this was putting my clients into a cookie cutter approach. Now, what do I mean by this? Even though inside my traditional hypnosis training, we were told that your sessions are going to be bespoke for your particular client in terms of the recordings that we give them afterwards. And I believe this a lot. And I still do believe some parts of it that it was bespoke. But at the same time, what we were taught was that, okay, so someone comes in with money blocks, and this is the script that you know, the the skeleton script that we would use, or someone doesn't feel good enough. So this is the skeleton script that we would use, or someone doesn't feel uh, lovable, uh, that this is the skeleton script that we use. And then um, it is up to us to personalize it for each client. And we did that. And a lot of the times it is true that it becomes bespoke because we use their words, we use their vision, we use the things that they said in their intake form um, with them imagining their life without the problem. And yes, that could be bespoke, but at the same time, it went against the main principles that by using scripts, we are putting our clients in a box. By using the same things or saying the same affirmations within our recordings and saying, you are good enough, you'll always be good enough, you matter, you're important, we're assuming that that particular client is going to respond to those affirmations. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> do we respond or perceive the same sentence in the same manner as humans? We don't, right? You know, those things where it's like a... um you you see a picture but there's actually two different pictures it's either like an old woman or a young woman depending on your perception so when we do or when we read our clients the same even though there it's a skeleton script it's still assuming that they would resonate with those words and also to be honest with you i never i actually still don't and never have resonated with the affirmation i am enough like it like i i can say that I am enough and it doesn't do anything to me at all. It doesn't resonate with me. I don't understand it. It doesn't hit me right in the feels. It, it, it just doesn't. Um, and so when other colleagues have given me those recordings, it actually wouldn't make me feel any better. It, it, it was just the same. There was, there was no effect at all um, just because personally that didn't resonate. And so when we do this, when we, even though, we personalize whatever our, our recordings towards the client or our particular client. There are times that if we use a generalized script, that it, it'll, it'll be his, hit and miss results, right? That it's just throwing spaghetti on the wall, seeing what sticks with them. Because truth of the matter is, what will stick with a client is not going to be found in a 10 to 15 minute long uh, meditation recording. What will resonate with our clients is the things that they tell us within our sessions. When we're investigating our client's problem, they tell us exactly what they need to hear. And if we gain that skill of knowing how to use the, utilize the information that they give us, what information is utilizable, don't know if that's a word, but it is now, um, if we know what to use a lot, utilize and how to use utilize our client's own words, then that just becomes a more powerful transformation. That is what makes our sessions really tailored and client centered. And so, you know, if only I knew this uh, earlier, it would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy as well, because, you know, I spent the money getting like the best mic, even though I'm still very happy with my mic, it was still, you know, like, it, it it's still a good investment, but didn't have to really um, expend a lot of time, particularly really is the biggest thing um, in terms of editing the recordings, going over because I'm a, an overthinker too, going over the script over and over again to make sure that it was perfect for the clients. Um, that definitely would have saved time only if I knew how to actually better investigate my clients better and knowing which um, which suggestions 
to use because it is really through listening to our clients during the session is how we'll know which words or which phrases uh, that we can give our clients um, so that they receive the transformation so that the transformations are lasting and based on my experience it's I don't think a client has ever said I I am enough in as as a resource it's usually something different it's very solution oriented um and it's you know it is a few phrases and it could it could be something as simple as I'm just gonna go with the flow or I'm just gonna chill out uh like very simple stuff like that um or i'm just gonna let it go like really those are the things those are the solutions that they, they can come up with and we don't need to repeat that 10 times 100 times in a recording especially if it comes within our clients because if it comes from from the unconscious it's already something that uh, will work for them because it the solution came internally no need to repeat it right and so I hope that made sense. I hope that this got you thinking uh, because it really is a pleasure to no longer um, have to do those damn recordings because, you know, I dreaded them and some of my clients didn't even listen to it. <laughs> and so um, it was a waste of time on my part and it had it wasn't for my re personal results. It was not really the reason why my clients got the results. My clients got the results because of the investigation phase, not the recordings. And so I hope that this helped and got your uh, cogs turning. If you have any questions at all, let me know and I will see you soon.